cold out there today, guys, okay? So let's make this quick. I got up at 5 a.m. today. Quite proud of myself. So I've actually been up quite a while already. Gotten most of my work done for the day. Been outside here twice already with the big guys. The little guys just woke up now, so I'm taking them out. Feels really good to get an early start to the day. Get so much more done, especially when the daylight hours are so short like they are now. It's already, what, 8.30? In the morning, the sun just came out. Well, starting to come up. It's not above the horizon yet. And it's below the horizon at like 4.30. So if you sleep, if you sleep in a little too long, it really feels like you lose a big part of the day. But, man, it's starting to get cold out here, though. It's definitely starting to get cold. Winter is almost here. We are here for our wiener meds. Oh, look at the gnome they have out front on the garbage can. Oh, look at that. I love those. <laughs> One of my friend's moms got a bunch of her family members those. Aren't they cool? A gnome right there. So creative. All right, let's put this thing in park. You go get your wiener meds. My wiener needs meds. He does. It's a function. He's crazy. So uh, Wiener, or Frank the Wiener, has a heart condition. He has an enlarged heart, so he has to take a pill twice a day with his meals. And it's very bad if you miss one, and he's only got one left. Cutting her close. We like to live life on the edge. Absolutely. Oh yeah, we still got a call. I was wondering why she wasn't going in. She's got a call. <laughs> That's right, the COVID thing. Oh shoot, it's on Blu-ray. Or Blu-ray, it's on Blu-ray disc. Blu-ray disc. Oh, why did I just hang up? Oh, cause you I hung to... up on them. Well, I need to disable my Bluetooth. There we go. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, not enough caffeine yet. It's waiting for me, I need to cool down a bit. So we stopped here at Deacon's Corner at the Petrol Pass. Stopped here many times over there on that side before. But, uh, got myself a new hat. There you go, tagless. <laughs> she nice? just performed surgery on it for me. <laughs> Took all the tags off. Nice, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put you down here, okay? Let me know what you think. Be honest. Be honest. Oh, I'm still wearing my mask. I am married, one. Calm down. Did you just call me woman? <laughs> I like how fluffy, it's extra fluffy up here. I like that the inside is so nice. It's very Canadian. Yeah, see now I got a business hat for the winter. That's, is it? Our, do you have a job interview or are you gonna go job in Job interviews, oh yeah. Absolutely. Who wouldn't hire this? Absolutely. I'm here for the truck driving job. Give me the keys. Let's yep. go. Yep. <laughs> yep. Exactly. <sighs> okay, so. I never know where to put anything in this vehicle because I don't have all my mounts in here. Have to remedy that. And there's no like place to put sunglasses. I'm so confused when I drive this. We could get you a sunglass clip for in there. That would be nice. Like this would even this should stay there. I need to wear them anyways. Yeah. There we go. This is complicated. I'm excited. I got a new hat. <laughs> How is it with the shades? It's gonna be on cloud nine for the next week. Mm-hmm. Oh, so sophisticated. Sexy. Drop dead sexy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Want to make a baby? Absolutely. See, it's the hat. It's the hat. I knew it. All right, let's go Keep get that you. on and only that. Only. <laughs> now you ruined it for everybody. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I ended up getting adjusted too. Over here, he was uh, nice enough to get both of us cracked up. Man, do I feel good. Wow. I heard a couple of those. It just things. went brrrr, rid of the whole spine. <laughs> Dr. Manuk is magical. Mm -hmm. We come all the way to Winnipeg just to see her chiropractor that she grew up with. Apparently, 
he's the best. Yep. I didn't grow up with him. He's my dad's chiropractor. Oh, so your dad grew up with him? No, my dad had a different chiropractor. But then he came to Dr. Manook and he... Wow. He recommended him. My spine is so straight right now. <laughs> I can feel it right down to my feet. It's just release. It's just... Yeah. Oh, it feels good. My left shoulder and my hips wouldn't let go, but my right shoulder and my neck did, so... I'm halfway there. Coming back next week for another one. So the chiropractor we go to is all the way on the west side of the city. Close to the Flying J in Headingley. Not too far away. Worth it. Worth it. It's about 45 minute to an hour drive for us. That's okay. Worth it. <laughs> we'll never see another. I trust him. It takes a lot. You gotta trust somebody when they're adjusting your neck. And Dr. manuk has been doing this in that, since 1983. He knows what the heck's up. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's a professional and a really, really nice guy. Yeah, he is very nice. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? How's my posture? Better? Better? Well, you got nothing bad to say, so that's an improvement. It is cold, man. It was uh, minus 25 this morning when we got up, and it's still minus 19. That's as warm as we're gonna get today, but it is supposed to warm up tomorrow a little bit more. Man, you just feel that every year. Like, you think it gets cold at around about zero, and then minus 10, you're like, oh, it's so cold, and then it gets down to minus 25, and you're like, oh, I can't move. What was that? That is cold. <sighs> I was just telling them. Wow. That we keep thinking it's cold when we say it's minus 10, and then it gets down to minus 25, and then it's we're just- It's minus 20 right now. Yeah, well, minus 19. Minus 20. Yeah. Still. Warm up before I go get the mail. Don't worry, it's gonna get worse yet. We haven't even hit minus 30. I'm well aware. I've been here for 31 years. Oh, it's not fun. <laughs> we never get used to it. Nope. Yeah, every year it's the same thing. Man, it's cold over there by the door. Let's stay away from there. She's gotta go out and get the mail yet. Oh, man. Well. It's almost winter time, which means it's also almost springtime, which means then, obviously, that it's almost summertime. I seriously feel 110% better though. Oh, I have never had such a good chiropractor appointment as the one I had today. It was mind blasting. It was mind blowing. It was all of those. I feel so good. I feel loose. I feel comfortable. My neck isn't hurting anymore. My stiffness in my back is gone. I've never had a crack like that before. I'm, I'm telling you, it was good. Do any of you work in chiropractic? Are you a chiropractor? Thank you if you are. Thank you for your service. Wow. We're going back next week. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Ah. Their glasses. <laughs> so cold. <sighs> Chevy, aren't you lucky you have a built-in coat? Wish we had those. She's on poop duty. It's her turn. <laughs> Honestly, I've been doing it a lot lately, and I would have gone to do it now, too, had she asked me to. I didn't even know she was going out there, but... We have to uh, make sure we pick up after them every time as soon as possible. Because if we don't... Somebody over there, the golden one, and also the old one who thinks he's a commander of the Galactic Federation, they seem to think that they are, you know, free brownies. That they're free treats in the snow. If we don't clean it up right away. And then they end up uh, returning them later inside the house. So, without disgusting you too much, that's what happens. So we have to be out there cleaning it up every time. Ooh, there she goes. 
<laughs> Chevy. So we're just getting ready to go to Grandpa's viewing. It's going to be a little interesting because of all the COVID rules. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work, but I'm just going to wing it. Uh, the siblings go in first. Viewing start, I believe, at 6.30. And uh, we have to line up in our cars, and one household can go in at a time for 10 minutes. And then the next people can go in, and we're not allowed to loiter, we're not allowed to hang around. Uh, and then tomorrow's the funeral, tomorrow afternoon, and that'll be interesting as well with all these rules, and it's... Outright cruel what they do to families as they're grieving, but it's the times we live in. Just make do with what we can right now because we have no power to change it. But so we're gonna head out there uh, to the viewing, and it shouldn't take too long, and head back here and take it from there. Well, got a nice rock star welcome when we came home again. <laughs> what an interesting viewing. So with these new COVID rules, uh, like we said, only one family of five can go in at a time and everyone else has to wait in their vehicles and everyone gets 10 minutes to view. Uh, so there's people that if everybody took their 10 minutes would have to wait almost three hours from the beginning to get in there to view. Uh, the body for 10 minutes and it's it was strange because grandpa had lost so much weight in his last few weeks that i hadn't seen him that skinny in a very long time and he also had grown facial hair because they didn't shave him in the hospital and by the time he got to uh, the funeral home they couldn't they couldn't cut his hair he had this big beard well not a big beard but he had a beard and I've never seen grandpa with facial hair before and that's because in the hospital obviously they didn't shave him i guess uh, he hardly got to see anybody uh, at all. And so when he got to the funeral home, he they couldn't shave him there either. Uh, because by that time it was too late. So he looked very different. Very different. Yeah. Um, but it was nice. I mean, you can't really say goodbye because they're not there anymore, but you get to see the body one last time. So tomorrow at uh, one o'clock, uh, we have the funeral. It's like a drive-in funeral service. We all go and pretty much park in the parking lot and there's a live streaming surf uh, service in the vehicles where we can watch the service from in our vehicles. On our phones. On our phones. And then uh, we follow the hearse to the burial site. I'm one of the pallbearers, so once the, f the funeral gets, or once the hearse gets there, I can get out with the other pallbearers and we carry the casket to the grave and then we have to go back to our vehicles we have to keep our windows rolled up and uh, then the siblings my mom and her sisters and brothers can go to the graveside and that's it everybody else has to stay in their vehicles windows rolled up and uh, that's how they do funerals now in the days of COVIDs. it's gonna be very interesting I won't be filming at all uh, obviously, this is a private family grieving process. It's a private funeral. Not going to film at all, so tomorrow's video will probably be pretty short. It'll just be in the morning a little bit and afterwards in the evening. We can tell you the story of how it went because I'm very interested. I, I honestly, I, I just explained the whole thing to you and I still have no idea what's going on, how this is going to work. But here's what it is in the days of the COVIDs. So interesting to think about death and to have someone close to you die. And to think we're all gonna be there one day. Not one of us can escape that. Not even you, Chevy. I'm sorry to say. Wish we could make you live forever. But. <laughs> it is what it is. On that note, before you really get them down, we should probably end the vlog. Yeah, I don't want to get you down Sorry, too much. <laughs> this whole week has kind of just been a, a Josh, somber. Josh has been getting a little bit existential. Yeah, and I don't want to bring you guys down either, but it is like it's, it's part of life. Mm -hmm. These things happen. 
and, and one day it'll be me. Long time from now. Not until you can die after me. But I no, get we're to gonna die this. together. Even better. Peacefully in our sleep. Okay. In how old are we? Thirty. We're gonna live to be 130. So in a hundred years. I'm probably gonna have some wrinkles and gray hair by then, though. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Night.